see? Yo, Chris, uh, can you just come and check this so I can't do it properly? Right. <laughs> right. So today, with the help of Nivea Men, I was meant to go and surprise a lifelong Liverpool fan who's had a bit of a tough time this year. His wife, Angela, and his sister, Chris, contacted the club to see if it would do something special for him. But given the circumstances, I wasn't able to go to his house, but we've arranged a video call, so hopefully that can put a smile on his face. Obviously, I've got a letter from you and Angela about David. Do you want to tell us about your brother and why you wrote in? He's just a genuinely lovely guy. He's got a heart of gold. Great dad, yeah, he's just a lovely guy. And a big red as well, a big Liverpool fan. Oh my God, my dad and Dave have had a season ticket in the main stand forever, really, most of our David's life anyway. Everything revolves around the fixture list, including his wedding. So I know it's been, obviously, a difficult few months for your family. Yeah, it's been horrendous, absolutely awful. My mum, bless her. She was diagnosed with um, terminal cancer. She died exactly a month later. And then on the 10th of November, which was the day we battered City, I was ringing my dad and he wasn't answering, which was out of character. And when I went round, he'd fallen down the stairs and broken his neck. And that was five weeks the day after losing my mum. And our day took it particularly bad because him and my dad were best mates. It's just been awful, yeah. Well, I'm so sorry to hear that. Obviously, there's nothing I can say, but no. um, hopefully we can try and cheer him up a little bit today with his phone call. We're about to do the video call with our Dave. He thinks he's going to be helping me with something for work, and he's no idea that Jordan Henderson is going to be joining us. I can't wait to see his reaction. I've had to move because the Wi-Fi is going to go off. Dave? Can you just come and check this so I can't do it properly? Right. Right. What it is, Steve, we've got a little surprise for you. Someone wants right. to say hello to you. Hey, David. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Good. <laughs> this was meant to be face to face. Nivea men arranged for me to come to your house to see you, but unfortunately, given the circumstances, um, we can't do that, so this is why we're on the call. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> how, how are you wow. coping anyway? Yeah, not, not bad, thanks, Jordan. Um, it's just at the match, you know, we haven't been in the match for a few weeks, obviously, but at the match, that's when I miss him most, because we, we, we sat together for so long, and the day before he died, I shook hands with him and said, we'll see you at pick you up tomorrow for City. We were talking and I said, it's going to be this year, it's going to be this year. And he went, oh, I don't know, City are probably still the team. And ever since that day, we've just flown. As made up as I am, it's it's that hard. It, 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 sometimes I think, I wish my dad could see this, you know what I mean? It's, uh, no, it's yeah, I, I get that. I used to go all around Europe, everywhere until I had me, me kids. I had kids, late Jordan, and uh, I had to sort of stop the European games. And all my family, they tried to get me a ticket for Madrid. I managed to get a ticket the week before and I gave it to my dad and then obviously with what's happened I, it was the best decision I've ever made you know <sighs> not not a day goes by it's, it, it has it's been hard it, you know football gives you that release I've always said it gives you that release and when they see you never walk alone I look to me right and I, I can start kind of feel my dad's with me but I don't know no, nobody sort of can explain how you're going to feel until it happens there's no right way or wrong way of dealing with it I'm really sorry to hear about that just try to stay as positive you can and know at the minute as well it's so difficult at the times that we're in but hopefully in the future then when we get back on the pitch we can we can put a smile back on your face um uh, you mean put a smile on my face i, I, I can't believe this <laughs> this is this is mad these things don't happen to me <laughs> she said to me get 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 dressed get dressed have a shave get dressed and i'm thinking where are we going i thought <laughs> she's playing bingo in the close later you know that, that shouting across the road to the houses and I said, I'm not playing bingo. No, no, but still get dressed, have a, have a shave. I, I'd just like to say, though, what a, what, a, what a season you've been having. You've been unbelievable. For me, player of the season, you've been fantastic. Oh, you? thanks, thanks. Appreciate that. Hi, you here? Hi. Hello. Who's your favourite player? You. <laughs> you are to say that, didn't you? Just, obviously, before we go, um, we've got a couple of surprises in store for you when things get back to some sort of normality. Nivea men have arranged for you and your family to come to Melwood to meet what? me and the lads. 
Um, oh. Nivian men would also like to pay for two season tickets for next season. <laughs> Again, hopefully that gives you something to look forward to. But more importantly, I'm I'm just really looking forward to meeting you in person, you and your family, because you seem such like a, a great guy and you've had a tough time. Stay positive, keep smiling, and hopefully we we'll see each other again soon. You're an absolute gentleman. I can't I can't thank you enough. I mean that really can't thank you enough. And and my sisters and my family and whoever sorted this, I can't I can't believe it. <laughs> nah, the pleasure's all mine, honestly. Do you know what, Jordan? Honestly, it's just made me life. Thank you very much indeed. Wow, I can't believe it. That was brilliant. That's just the best ever. The best.